Hey guys, Doc Hepps here. So do you have this awful pelvic spasm sensation and you feel like a Charlie horse happens in your pelvis every time you have to pee? And even when you don't, well, you might be having bladder spasms. Check this video out and I'll give you some guidance as to what to expect. Hey guys, Doc Hepps here. So the question we're gonna go over are bladder spasms, why do they happen, what's going on, what can I expect, and how can I help make it feel better or make these things go away? So first we're gonna talk a little bit about the normal bladder, how it functions. We'll talk about why bladder spasms might happen, ways to treat these bladder spasms, and how to limit them from happening, a little bit of tips and tricks in what I do. So the normal bladder. The, no the bladder does basically two things. It stores urine, holds urine, and then it empties urine. It's a muscle. So that muscle can relax and that muscle can contract. The, the bladder is made up of different layers. One of the layers is a muscular layer and that layer is kind of like uh, plywood it has muscle fibers that are all interwoven together and these uh, muscles relax when you're storing urine and then they kind of squeeze down like a sponge to empty the urine out and when everything's working well uh, you just store urine and then when your bladder fills full your brain says wait a second and then when you get to the bathroom it just contracts and you do fine but sometimes for different reasons that connection between the bladder muscle, the nerves, the brain, the spinal cord, and anything inside the bladder that may be irritating it gets thrown off. And that muscle, those muscle fibers can squeeze and cause a spasm like a charley horse in an uncoordinated, abnormal fashion. So why might this happen? This can happen for a few different reasons. One of the reasons are things that irritate the lining of the bladder. These things can be a urinary tract infection, a bacterial infection. It can be any sort of abnormal foreign bodies in the bladder. And this can range from people who have stones in the bladder. It can be from catheters for folks who have difficulties voiding. That two plastic tubing in the bladder can irritate the lining. Sometimes I call it tickling the lining, but oftentimes it makes the bladder feel full and then that muscle will just squeeze like heck and cause this abnormal spasm and pain. People who have stents in for different reasons, more common, most commonly for having stones, kidney stones, that one of the portion of the uh, stent that is in the bladder and that stent is a plastic silicone device that can just irritate the lining of the bladder. And again, that can cause what's called bladder spasms that makes you feel like you have to pee all the time, causing a sensory irritability. Also, it can make that muscle squeeze um, abnormally and when you don't want it to, and that can uh, cause so-called bladder spasms, cause that muscle to contract uh, down. Um, sometimes you can have things that are outside of the bladder causing irritation. This can be back problems causing the nerves to fire abnormally. This ranges from spinal cord injuries to uh, folks who have herniated discs or more mild neurologic issues. And sometimes it can be from things pressing on the bladder, although this would be more unusual, things like cysts, like ovarian cysts or other types of masses in the pelvis that can press on the bladder can cause a bladder muscle to function abnormally. So oftentimes, um, these bladder spasms are very common and normal, especially in the face of having either a stent in the bladder or a catheter in the bladder. We as urologists often tell folks, hey, you might feel pelvic pain, pelvic pressure. Um, you it may feel a spasm sensation, almost like a charley horse, or a muscular uh, cramping sensation in the pelvis, then that's due to the abnormal uh, irritation from the 
plastic of the catheter or the stent. How do you treat this? What are things to try and figure out um, that may make it better? Well, the diet is sometimes over-the-counter medications can help reduce that pelvic pressure and pelvic pain. So ultimately, stay hydrated, anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen um, or Aleve leave can help if those are okay to take. Uh, warm showers or hot tubs can help uh, folks who have awful bladder spasms. And like I said, those anti-inflammatories in combination with a uh, good diet, staying hydrated, eating pad or, or warm baths can help to alleviate some of these spasms. So there are certain medicines that can help alleviate or reduce those spasms if the over-the-counter and dietary changes don't really help. These medicines help to relax the bladder. And we use these very commonly, um, especially in folks who have those stents in place or who have awful urgency, frequency, and kind of spasm of the bladder. Um, these include medicines called anticholinergics or bladder spasm medications. There's also a class of medications called beta-3 agonists. And if these bladder spasms persist and you, there's no other underlying problem that we can find, figure out, and sometimes we'll use things called Botox or neuromodulation. Ultimately, the way to treat these is to find the underlying cause. So if it's a temporary stent or temporary catheter, which are probably a very common source of these bladder spasms, you, once you get the stent out, once you get the catheter out, those bladder spasms somewhat resolve and hopefully go away forever. If it's a urinary tract infection, you want to treat uh, the infection, and that will help with the symptoms of those spasms. But if it's something more chronic, things like Botox, medications, or neuromodulation may help. Ultimately, the bladder is a muscle. And when it's working normally, no problem. It helps to hold the urine and then it empties it out. But when it's not going well, that muscle can go into spasm. It can cramp and it can hurt like heck. So what we have to do as urologists is try to figure out what the heck's causing these spasms. If it's a temporary thing, then we just have to buy some time and sort of try some medicines in those uh, dietary changes. If it's something like a urinary tract infection or a stone, then it's something we'll have to treat that underlying problem. And that will help get, let, get the bladder spasm to be uh, eradicated. So, is something that's common that we as urologists deal with. We use a variety of different medications and just reassurance in dietary uh, and behavioral things that may help with these spasms. Um, it's something that you can talk with your urologist about. You just don't have to suffer through. So hopefully this gives you some guidance as to what to expect, what bladder spasms are, why they occur, some of the things we as urologists use to treat these and to make them more tolerable. I appreciate you watching. Check out our other videos. Uh, thanks again.